out of adventures Watch Duke almost die Every time Guaranteed Greetings YouTube, Chook here Chook's Outdoor Adventures, watch Chook almost die Every hunt, guaranteed As you can see, that's uh, literally what happened this trip um, yeah, my, uh, my hunt in Shirleyville was just insane. Um, it was supposed to be a seven day hunt. I came back after two days because I got my brown bear and I wanted to come back and do some fishing and take care of some stuff. Um, so nice to be back in town. Um, I'm not even gonna think about hunting. Um, well, of course I'm gonna think about hunting, but I, yeah, I won't hunt for like a month or so. You know, I'm just gonna do fishing and stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it uh, literally was like a horror survival game for me. Um, this black bear had me living in abject terror. Now, I probably should have turned it into a combo trip and got a black bear and a brown bear, but I didn't want to. I was ready to leave town. Um, I was really happy that I got my brown bear. Um, and this black bear was just uh, terrorizing me, even though I would shoot at it. It uh, just kept coming back to my camp when I was out field dressing the brown bear and smashed my tent in, stole a week's worth of food. Um, that's why I wanted to leave too. Um, and just, uh, you know, kept, you know, making these aggressive sounds. And, you know, it charged me that one night in the dark when I got the shot off. Um, but, uh, yeah, just very... Uh, very aggressive. Now, now people, what, you need to understand that Alaska, especially in the wild parts of South Central Alaska, it's not a very hospitable place for humans. Um, these bears are starving and they're mean. They, they want you for your food and they want to eat you as food. Now, where I was hunting, it's uh, Unit 16B is a predator control area. That means these bears are out of control. The population is sky high. Fish and game wants the bears culled a little because it helps the moose population. And it's not good for the bears. The bears are, um, except for the real mean ones, they're all kind of small because they're starving. There's just too many bears. There's too much competition for food. And um, they're just mean. They hate you. They, they want to eat you and they want your food. Um, and it's just crazy to think about these, you know, big six foot tall beasts with massive claws and teeth. Um, it's like the land of the Sasquatch that just will tear you apart. Um, I feel like I have symptoms of PTSD now. You know, I should know I'm a mental health therapist. Um, but when you're you know, constantly having to fire your weapon off to stave off the, the animals, um, you know, it does, it does kind of bring that fight or flight response to your body. Um, now when I was, uh, it was terrifying for me just to approach my downed brown bear, you know, I'm, I'm a little new to hunting, I've only been hunting a few years. Um, just approaching a massive beast like that, what a deep experience for me, deeply profound and spiritual. Um, you know, I, I, I really felt like I, I gained a lot just just being able to uh, approach that animal and field dress it in the field. Um, um, such a moving experience. Um, you know, people don't understand how much hunters really care about animals and mourn the animals they kill. Um, yeah, that was just intense, but you know, there was wolves howling out there um, at one point and you know there's there's other bears in the area that, that just teeming with bears 16b is teeming with bears um, if, if you want to go on the hunt of a lifetime contact Alex Foff and um, with Shirleyville fishing and adventures and and go out there and hunt especially if you're an Alaska resident um, just just uh, the hunt of a lifetime um, also if you're a guide say you want your dream job, you're from Kentucky and, and you want to guide, you know, you're good at baiting, you want to guide bears, um, give Alex a call. He'll, uh, he's so busy commercial fishing, he doesn't have time to really uh, um, help all of his clients and he wants to partner with a guide. Um, so anyways, I was just on my own. I 
really I, I would have liked to have somebody there you know all my buddies are working um, to, to film the shot my GoPro messed up something with the card so I didn't get the the shot of the brown bear um, taking him down that's okay um, but uh, going out to retrieve it was pretty terrifying um, it would have been nice to have some backup there um, as far as my equipment I was very happy with the uh, the DPMS um, 300 short action ultra mag um, it just performed flawlessly um, you know this the scopes the the E1 scope stayed on despite all the abuse it took on that four-wheeler um, stayed true to zero um, I'd rather have a bolt gun I think for a, a life or death hunt like this because uh, a bolt gun is more accurate you know this thing if it gets dry and I'm shooting it a lot it will seize up you know it's like the classic AR-15 you got to strip it down in the field um, and constantly keep it lubed and clean um, you know I may not always have time for that so um, even though I like the caliber I think in the future for a, uh, a hunt where I'm you know it's gonna be life or death in, in my eyes I'd, I'd rather have a bolt gun in, in a high caliber like that um, but it, it performed fine um, these these 180 grain nozzler partitions I'm very impressed with um, you know it, it mushroomed out on one side which is interesting but just the, the pure force and power killed the bear very quickly it uh, entered right in the heart and um, exited um, just under the fur um, on the right hip um, which was uh, pretty interesting and, and the bear ran about 15 yards and expired um, so yeah just incredible but as far as you know protection man this Ruger Red Hawk uh, was the, the lifesaver the only thing is I'd, I'd get paranoid and I'd re-up my ammunition I you know I shot this thing so many times just kind of warding off animals if I thought there were wolves or other bears out there shooting at that black bear um, definitely a lifesaver that you can rely on the Ruger Red Hawk Alaskan 44 Magnum um, very glad I had that um, yeah so just an incredible trip um, you know talk about adventure um, I'm definitely gonna do it again um, so Chook your friend in the field bear with the 300 short action ultra mag I know I hit it I heard it um, I think something's messed up with my GoPro I thought I got the footage but uh, I just got to the stand I was on my way home and all of a sudden I heard a crack and I watched this brown bear approach the bait station and uh, I just fired at it center mass and um, I took a second shot I think I hit it twice I heard it moan it was mad um i'm staying up here for a while i'm not getting out of this tree with a wounded grizzly bear it's a monster the thing was big oh wow i'm shaking this is hardcore uh, i ain't i ain't gonna retrieve it till the morning all right thank you okay this is roughly where i shot it and I was freaked out because I couldn't find a blood trail. Blood is a nice shot. There's actually a lot on right there. Um, I worry uh, about grizzlies. They're so fat sometimes they don't bleed. Oh man, a lot of blood. A lot of blood. blood trail this is freaky I'm by myself there's nobody out here with me I already set one shot off um, but I couldn't find anybody to come out with me um, let's see I, I gotta turn this off until I find it this is too freaky I well, can't. this is freaking me the heck out 
because I've got a monster grizzly there. Sometimes they have yearlings. I don't know what else is in the area, but there's my bear. That was a good hit. I don't know what else is here. I'm scared to even come up to it. Wow. It's not as big as I thought, but it's a brown bear. Wow. I did send off a shot. I think I'm going to send off some more shots and I'm going to get my nerve to go to work on this guy. Yeah, he's dead. Oh man, it is a monster. Wow, I wish somebody could come help me. Alex can't, because he's a, a commercial fisherman. He's got a lot of stuff to do. Oh man. Wow, that was a good shot. It is big. It's my brown bear. And now the work begins. It is 5.30 in the morning. It's going to take me a few hours. But I do not like being back here. I heard wolves howling. I don't know if there's more. There's a bear harassing me in my camp. I don't know if there's more browns around here. I'm stuck in this little thing. If I was in a mountain, I wouldn't care. But I'm in these close woods. Bears are quiet. Something could sneak up on me. Um, so I guess I'm going to just have to man up and get to work here. But uh, it almost looks like a big old sow. There's no hump, but it is a monster. Uh, I'm going to figure out a game plan here. Got in there, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Yeah. 